again. Once and once again. So, we're episode 12? 12. Yeah. All right. Who's uh, Kaz? Uh, Introduce us. We us are gentlemen. The handsome hooligans. And unfortunately, we don't have our marquee right. today. But uh, we're here with this charming Smith's cast. Uh, as you can see, we have changed format just a little bit. Uh, we're just in a different part of the room. Uh, so same same people, same desk. <laughs> same people. Same people. But like, wait, oh wait, that is them still. Yeah. <laughs> just like they're not sitting in the same places. As yeah. Yeah. We just. Anyways, it it'd be hard to explain what we're. Anyway, so we're in the same room. Yeah. Did you say that? Yeah, I did. Okay, so welcome room. to this charming Smith cast. Yeah. Uh, we're covering and the Queen is dead. And we're going to finish it up today with the last four songs, which are The Boy with the Thorn on His Side, Vicar and a Tutu, There is a Light That Never Goes Out, and Some Girls Are Bigger Than Others. And that's true. That <laughs> is some them. are a lot bigger. Are you one of those girls, Mark? Yeah. <laughs> I'm a big girl. And some girls' mothers. That's also Mark. Are bigger than other girls' mothers. I'll drink to that. All right. So, okay. uh, we got four songs to cover, yep. um, and, and, uh, so, d d d uh, we don't have any comments. Oh, I do have something, though, uh, uh, Dave ha is over in England right now, yep. Ooh. and, or actually, and he actually went to, uh, he's got a, pi a picture, <laughs> did I say yeah. that? A picture in front of, of the Salford... Lads Club. Mm -hmm. Yep. <laughs> we got to put that yeah. for the. Well, we're gonna put that for the thing. Yeah, we'll use this for the uh, for the uh, thumbnail for this video. Yeah, because Dave Dave has commented like on every single episode. He's been yep. such a sport. Except for the last two. Get on it, Dave. Well, that's what I'm saying. Is that he's over? <laughs> he's, he's over there living the life. Pshaw. He was like he like went to got this picture of uh, on this bridge where Joy Division was, and, and yeah. then he, oh, I have a picture of of the Holy Name Church, beautiful <sighs> church. Anyway, so so he's running around having the time of his life. Okay, All so right. that's, and, that's gonna be the thumbnail for this episode. Yeah. You know what? I'm calling it right now. Million subscriber special. Uh, we have Dave on the show. Million <laughs> subscriber special. We're we're over a thousand views. Yes. <laughs> but a million subscribers. Come yeah. on. I'm I'm calling it right now. Right here. Right Whenever now. Whenever that happens. Million subscriber special. Uh, yeah. Dave comes on the show. I bet you Dave's over there like spreading the word though. Everybody talks to him. He's like, oh yeah, there's these awesome hooligans that I know that. <laughs> There's three really <laughs> stupid people who are talking about Smiths online. No, but it was funny in his when in his little thing. Look, oh Coronation Street, and I didn't realize it was yeah. right on Coronation Street. But uh, he was like, he was whenever he was going to take his picture there, he said he was really excited, like just you know. Nice. And I didn't really, you know, you don't realize how bright the the thing is because the on the on the album. It's actually black and white. Yeah, that's the one. Yeah. So, or you know, black and white. So you don't realize how bright the actual bricks are in that. Yeah. I believe that's also in the video for Stop Me. Oh yeah. Yeah, yeah they're all riding bikes around. Yeah. Okay. Well, uh, uh, do we want to get into it? I say we I'm, should. I mean, do we have any other stuff? Hey guys, comment though. Yeah. Yeah. Please comment. comment. Uh, if you comment, we'd greatly appreciate it. And you have a chance to win your very own List of the Lost novel oh, by yeah. Morrissey. It's in their bag. Yeah, I brought it. Let's leave it in the bag. <laughs> <laughs> it's in the bag. Yeah, so... It's in the bag, but it yeah. could be in your package. That's right. It could be in your mailbox. <laughs> oh, my gosh. Somebody's got to get that. Isn't that a federal crime? <laughs> <laughs> a federal offense sharing list of laws with anybody. <laughs> it's like, yeah, the one the one book that is actually good to burn. <laughs> so, um, anyway, so we're let's get on with the with the album. Um, okay, the first song, the the boy with, boy with the thorn, thorn in his side. side. 
Okay, we're gonna play it. Okay. And then let's let's discuss it. Yeah. Frankly, Mr. Shankly. Yeah. yeah. I love that part. Yeah. Okay, well, uh, no, that one's, but okay, so, um, so what do you have to say about this one? Okay, okay, so, okay Cass? No, Cass, I'll, I'll, I'll be Cass, last. You, I'll be last. No, 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 I want you to go first this time. You yeah. want me to go first? Yeah. Go ahead. I feel so touched. You um, should. So I have a very cool story about this. Uh, I was able to meet Johnny Marr in uh, California once, and uh, he signed my Boy with a Thorn in His Side single. I actually found this on that same trip and was so excited because, number one, I really love this track, and number two, I know that uh, him and Morrissey said that if they were ever to release uh, or re-release another, uh, another Smith song, this would be the one because they felt like it didn't get as much uh, play. Yeah, as much play as it deserved. And so it's really cool. Uh, to Kaz with thanks, because uh, I also gave him flowers at a gig just before that. And what, what's on the B side? Though? What's on the B side? Uh, I mean, you might not be able to see this, but it's rubbering and asleep. And those, it's not just- great songs. Yeah, th those not, are like- Not that, only are they really great songs, they actually form a medley on this. Rubbering fades right into a sleep. Oh, really? Yeah. yeah. See, this, that's interesting that the B-sides are those two songs, which are some of, two of the best Smith songs ever written. Like, it's just yeah. like, and th this is a single? Yeah. It's, ah, we gotta, we're gonna have to talk about what we're gonna do next after we said, but anyway, let's uh, keep going yeah. with the, well, so, okay. So, the boy with the thorn in his side, according to Morrissey, is him. Mm -hmm. He's the boy, and the thorn in his side is who, Kaz? The music press. The music press. And why? Because he felt like they were all jerks. Yeah, so, so they wrote... So <laughs> Anybody yeah. who doesn't agree with Morrissey is a jerk. Well, y yes, it, yes, and it went a little bit deeper with this one, because in between Meet is Murder and Queen is Dead, they released two singles. And on Meet Is Murder, they charted really high for those, right? For those singles? No, 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 for Meet Is Murder. Oh yeah, number one. Yeah. With the so, bullet. Yeah, so then they released two singles and they were? For, um, for Meet Is Murder? In between, no, in between Meet Is Murder and- Shakespeare's Queen, Sister? Shakespeare's Sister, which didn't do well at all. In fact, it hardly got any radio play. It's not, yeah, it's, and then it's what an was okay it? song. Um, but. That joke isn't funny anymore. No, no that was that's, that's me as murder. Okay, you tell us. Dude. Yeah, so, okay, what's the so, other one? I'm trying to remember. That's why I'm. Asking. Oh, you son of a gun! <laughs> no, they, they made they us look like give fools. Me, give me they, they released two singles. Uh, did and, they? Yeah, and they did Which a we, play. I think it was just one. It might have been one. Because but what, they, they, that joke is funny point. more. They're disappointed in that because yeah. it, it didn't do well. It didn't you know, do they're like as a single. Oh, and then. Oh, maybe, yeah, because maybe that's what it was. That joke isn't funny. Shakespeare's sister. Shakespeare's sister. Because what? Yeah, how soon is now? Met, was also released. Now and didn't do well, but it's just and, because and it so, had already been on a couple. So days. they were very, they were very yeah. upset. Are we right? Uh, Shakespeare's sister, and then that joke isn't funny anymore. Yeah. Yeah. I mean. And so they, so they were very upset because the radio wasn't even playing them. And they weren't getting any kind of airplay, and so Morrissey and Marr were both very upset. And so Morrissey went back and, and wrote the song. Yeah, but they were they were upset a lot with their singles because, like, anyway, we can yeah. talk about it later. But Panic didn't do. Yep. Like they thought that that was gonna, and it just didn't. It just didn't. 
That came, well that came as after as uh, Queen of Stead, though, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Anyway, I'm kind of getting ahead. But, okay, so the... Because I was wondering, I was like, what is this boy with thorn inside? I was like, what is that even reference to? And I was like, I remember this thing in the Bible. Who is it? Uh, Paul talks about having a thorn in his side or something? Or a thorn? Everybody had a thorn in their side. <laughs> Jesus <laughs> definitely had a thorn somewhere. <laughs> he had that spear stuck up there inside. But no, but I thought it was maybe a re like I like how do you why is it why is the reference a thorn in his side? Oh, like you're a thorn in my side. Okay, yeah. never mind. I just yeah. figured it out. If I would have taken it a little further, I could have figured it out. Okay, so so, so so they were so they were upset and um, trying to think of who it, what it was. I guess you can hear her laughing. Like maybe pick her, up. <laughs> pick her up. Maybe. Uh, so um, I'm trying to remember because I was watching some kind of uh, uh, documentary, and they were interviewing Craig Gannon. And I think that's this is the first song he learned how to play after joining the Smiths. Oh really? Um, yeah, because they because when they went into this, the first song he wrote was "Ask," right? That Craig Gannon wrote. Craig Gannon didn't. <laughs> I know, I'm just, but he got he got like all the money, like half the maybe it was the money for it anyway, because he played. Anyway, he he was saying that they they brought him on, and it was it was actually kind of scandalous when they did bring him on because the Smiths were like the uh, the Smiths were like the ultimate indie band, and they were doing real you know they everybody liked them being an indie band, and when they brought on that fifth person. Uh, it was kind of, the press kind of went after them too, saying, who do they think they are, you two? Because you two, you know, had a bigger lineup. And the, the thing is, is they needed Craig Gannon for concerts because they did, they did so much orchestration. Well, but they, they originally got him for, I mean, to replace Andy Rourke. Well, yeah. But, yes. because, but then... Well, because they kicked through Andy Rourke, yeah. remember the postcard? Yeah. Well, it no, no, no it, 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 it's a he said, he said, she said thing. Like that's uh, what Johnny Marr says, though. No, that's what like, he says. Yeah. Different members of the band will say different things. They'll say Craig Gann was always going to be the second guitarist, or he came to replace Andy Rourke. Well, I, either or, way, either way, the Queen is Dead had so much orchestration with guitars that they couldn't go out and I guess play. Well, she said. They, they, they couldn't go out and play these songs on stage and have them sound close to what they well, were on the record. Well, I mean, according to Johnny, he he said that they kept him on, and he's like, this is going to be great because I now I can play more intricate stuff, you know, yeah. instead of just trying to play the whole thing. So they were still, they, he was yeah. fine, because they, they, he did fine after, after Craig Gannon, yeah. you know, uh, left the band or was was snubbed. Yeah. They just never talked to him. It's like these guys are so passive ag well, unpassive aggressive. They're just like they just kinda like they do not talk about things and that's that's one of the problems I, that the Smiths got into. It's just like no, you no, know talks. Yeah. In fact in, in this documentary it was actually kind of funny because Stephen Street was talking about how they actually wrote songs. Uh, Morrissey and Marr how they wrote songs. So Marr would, would get all these riffs going and they they booked some time in, in, in a studio, and so he'd bring in Andy and Mike. They'd all lay down all their stuff, and, and everything would... Am I <laughs> <laughs> You're sticking your tongue out like... No way. Okay. <laughs> right. Yeah, it's fine. All right, so anyway... The <laughs> cast is like... Am I... Oh, I'm Okay, like, okay, I'm okay, let's, get, let's talk about the music, man. So, Dude, see, I, I, I am talking about music. So okay. Anyway, well, so what is it? What do we so, like about this song? Well, hold on, hold on. I'm gonna oh, tell no. you about this. So, uh, Mar would lay down all the tracks, and uh, Andy and Mike would lay down their their part of it too, and then uh, Mar would stay back with Stephen Street, get everything done. They would get a cassette tape, and then they drop it off in Morrissey's mail slot. Hey, you know what? One thing I think it's this song. Uh, 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 our friend John Porter came back for the boy with the thorn in his side. Really? No, frankly, Mr. Shankly, yeah, engineered yeah. by John Porter. Yeah. 
So anyway, I just was looking at this today. Uh, so anyway, he said it was so. It, so like you were saying, there was no communication. Even when they were writing songs, there was no communication. Like well, yeah, yeah Johnny would just give like a set, and then I mean sometimes they they would like okay, so that Johnny came showed up to Morrissey, and he he had a couple songs, um, and they played. He would sometimes he yeah. talks about that they would play and. Morsi would be sitting right by him and he'd play a song and Morsi would yeah. do his lyrics because he played like three songs and they ended up becoming Frankly Mr. Shankly, uh, There's Light That Never Goes Out, oh, what's the other one? Anyway. So yeah, so, but I mean, that, so enough. when you're talking about how they didn't talk to each other. Oh yeah, that's, that's what I'm saying. Like it was a lot of times, cool. yeah. Well, they, there was the, the best communication, and that's. No. I mean, and I don't. I mean, I don't know how it is. I mean, I you know sometimes I have problem communicating, with telling people my feelings and stuff. Yeah, I know. So you they, don't they have a problem with us. Yeah, I just can't tell you guys. I've wanted you guys off for so long. <laughs> I wanted this to be me. Oh, me! <laughs> I've been trying to kick you off. Mark just like Mark just pushes all the stuff off the desk and just lays down like a little cheek. All right. Oh, say you, say me. All right. All right. So that's not why now, is that? Yeah, it is. Thanks. Welcome back to the Lionel Richie uh, <laughs> podcast. <laughs> The Lionel. I love that name. Lionel. Yeah, because it's Lion. L. Yeah, so you think of like Simba, remember his big poofy hair? <laughs> you think of that's a Lionel, like the big poofy like Hakuma <laughs> <laughs> Matata. Hakuma <laughs> Matata? Okay, so about okay. the song. So what do we like about this song? Um here play it again because I kinda of forgot it. Okay. My or not it just a little just <laughs> Oh yeah, it's coming back to me now. I like that. The guitar. No, it's kind of like... Alright. Does not play too long. Okay. Uh, I just really like the noises that you make, like, trying to imitate what trying. the song is. I'm doing a perfect... I'm a Foley artist. I'm doing a perfect... You're a Foley artist. <laughs> no, you're a fool. A fool. <laughs> you're a fool. <laughs> I, it's a perfect, uh, yeah. Anyway, yeah, I do make a lot of weird noises. But I, okay, so there's the orchestration on here. Yeah. And there's that cool guitar, like the, that I was trying to make the noise of that. And I mean, it's, I love whenever he's like, you know, uh, talking about how can they see the love in our eyes and still they don't believe us. And, you know, just the whole like, the yearning that you can feel, it's like, oh, you know, and nobody's believing him. Anyway, yeah. what do you guys have to say about the song? I've talked too much already. I put Kaz to sleep. Kaz, <laughs> Kaz, Kaz, Kaz. Uh, what I have to say about this song is I think it's really cool. And uh, I feel like amongst all the other songs on The Queen is Dead, this one kind of harks back to some of their earlier stuff. It's a little more jangly and um, I kind of feel like that's maybe done intentionally. Uh, it also has personal meaning to me, because again, I met Johnny Marr, and he signed my thing. He's a great guy. Uh, I hope I hope anyone can... How tall is he? Oh, very short. Very short. Uh, he's probably... This is actually a life-size uh, <laughs> photo of him. He's that big. Yeah. He's a little guy. Kaz just put him right up on his lap. <laughs> Yes, I mean this. This is a great song. I mean, yeah, it's just you know, a great song. Should have been a good sing. And they re-released this one too. Mm -hmm. They okay. did re-release a different version. Has anybody heard the new version? No. No, I was, I was going to get it for a record store. Well, it's like I I don't have a record player. So what what good would that be? You'd bring it to me. I know, but why would I buy a? It's just like why would I buy a record? to not be able to listen to it like actually what you can do though you can take a cup like an empty cup you get a, a needle a needle 
put it through and then spin it and actually you can hear the yeah, yeah like the old like the old RCA you know that big yeah basically it'll it'll play it. I like how your hand spinning it though so it's like really really slow wait no it. what you do is you go like spin <laughs> on your balance on your so it sounds like the chipmunks in regular where's the chipmunks <laughs> no uh, yeah but that will so anybody who tries this that will ruin your record <laughs> so that's the first thing. no you don't push harder but the other the other cool thing about that history fact here is they've actually recorded they've actually found recorded uh, voices from people way way long time ago like thousands of years ago what I'm, I'm not kidding for Did that. they know they're recording themselves no they didn't because they, they were spinning pottery and how they make everything is they they were they would use branches and they were talking to each other what I'm not kidding they, they've done spectral analysis on these things and and you can actually hear voices talking back and forth as they're going as they're playing around on, on the grooves on the pot because the, the sound that they're talking to each other with while they're doing that is actually moving the branches back and forth so it's actually carrying their voice freaky huh the world's oldest record was a pot <laughs> Seriously, I mean it's freaky. But what are RPMs you had to spin it at? I don't know. There wasn't spinning RPMs. It was a computer, uh, computer going around the, going around the. Thing. That's interesting. I have to look that up. But yeah, it's not. When I heard that, I, was like, I wouldn't want to hear that thing. Could you imagine analyzing that? That uh, you know, scientists just sitting in a lab somewhere analyzing it, going around, and then all of a sudden hearing voices. Well, no, it'd be cool because you can. You're looking back in the past. Anyway, okay. That's interesting. Well, okay, so enough about the lessons <laughs> of how a record, get how you get sound off a record. Well, it's an, this is an educational program. <laughs> <laughs> All right, okay, so enough of that. if you're ever on a desert island and you're stuck with a record, though, and you That's have a I'm needle playing. in a cup, there you go. Let's move on to the next track. <laughs> you can just have a needle in a cup. <laughs> okay, Vicar and... Vicar and a tutu. Vicar and a tutu. Vicar and a tutu. Hey, listen, I was the minding car. my business, okay? Let's mm -hmm. take some lead off. I was minding my business. This is an interesting guitar. Like, this is like a rock and roll. Like a yeah, rock it rock is, but, but his guitar is kind of like very yeah. distant. Yeah, like, like very minimal, you know. I mean, you gotta get the drum and just everything okay. going. That's that's the that's what I'm saying. It's kind of interesting because it is rockabilly, but Johnny Marr, he you know, just kind of plays minimal guitar. I mean, just like a few notes, but they're very distinct. So it's just a weird, a different way to. Yeah. Instead of like big or big mouth, you know, where it's like, you know, this is what I'm talking about. I know, where it's all like up front, you know. I don't know. I think it works perfect though. Uh, this is Vicar and a Tutu? Yeah. Yeah. Uh, I feel like this song is very, very, very funny. Uh, just then why weren't you laughing? I didn't hear any laughter. <laughs> Was that joke not funny anymore? <laughs> Anyways. No, I know. Yeah, no, just like from the very beginning, you know, it, it involves Morrissey on the roof of a church stealing lead. Okay, well, let's, let's, uh... Let's um, analyze the lyrics. Yeah, let's just, I'll just read them. Uh, I was um, minding my business. Lifting some lead, lead off. The thing. roof of the Holy Name Church. It was worthwhile living a laughable life just to set my eyes on a, the blistering sight of a vicar and a tutu. Yeah. He's not strange. He just wants to live his life. Okay, well, hold on. This way. Just in case I, nobody knows. What's a tutu? What? No, they're more likely not to know what a vicar is. Oh, well, let, let's explain both of them. Okay, a tutu. tutu is the thing that a ballerina wears. Yeah. yeah. A little it's skirt. It's a skirt. Yeah. A vicar is, is like a priest, priest in, in the uh, Anglican church. Yeah. So there's a priest in a skirt, basically. Yeah, yeah. In, a, in a ballerina skirt. Ballerina skirt. <laughs> so 
I don't know. This one's and interesting. Dances again and again and again. Oh, the monkish Monsignor. Yep. I don't know. What do you think it was? I don't know. The Monsignor. <laughs> the Russian Monsignor. The Russian the Monsignor. <laughs> the Russian. I thought it was the guy's name or something. Or with a head full. Okay, so. I don't. You know what? That's the thing, though. You listen to the song so much that it happens in a lot of you know songs that you probably listen, have heard on the radio. You just kind of fill in lyrics. You, yeah. yeah. You know, you just listen to them over and so, over. Sometimes you just fill in the personality of the person too. Like. Yeah. I'm like, like oh, like, Steve dude. Morris. He's like the super nice guy. Very open. Yeah. Or you think Wayne Newton is a girl. <laughs> Wayne Newton, yeah, I see. Um, Wayne Newton, yeah, that, is a man. Yeah, man. yeah, that video. <laughs> hey, that was so funny. Whenever I saw the episode eleven at the end, yeah, because I had forgot about that. And I was like, Wayne Newton is a man, man. <laughs> anyway, it was crazy because we were talking, and Steve said that Donka, that song Donkashern, Donkashane, Donkashane, was, and it's in uh, Ferris Bueller's Day Off was sang by Wayne Newton, and I'm like, no, that's sang by a girl. <laughs> anyway, and which it it is. I mean, I, I'm so not convinced. <laughs> but then we watched a video of Wayne yeah, I, Newton I showed singing. some videos of Wayne Newton singing. Singing, I'm like, oh my gosh. But I, I have to confess, he looks very... My favorite part was, uh, while this was going on, I was in the other room, and I could just hear Mark going, you know, he could, or, it could just be like a costume, like, no, that's definitely a girl still. <laughs> it was just crazy, yeah, to, to realize that I didn't know that Wayne Newton sang that song, and wasn't Wayne how did his voice go so high? Wasn't Wayne Newton in Mars Attacks? I don't know. Who knows? There's a lot of people on Mars Attacks. <laughs> that was such a funny movie. But, uh, so well, anyway, so Wayne Newton... Was in the movie. Maybe. No, 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 that was, uh, that was, uh, uh, Marge's favorite singer. Wayne Newton? No, 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 the, the one that was in Mars Attacks. Marge Simpson? Yeah. Her favorite singer, um... Barry White? No, no, no. no. The, the well, one that sings... I know you're talking Save the Smitties. <laughs> no, oh, no yeah. it, it's the one who, who sings, uh... It's not unusual oh, to get to love. Oh, yeah. yeah, that's, yeah. It. that's what was it. That's yeah, it. man, there's no question that Tom Jones is a girl, a guy. I <laughs> said, <laughs> darn it! Tom, don't get me! <laughs> no, but I'm saying, but Wayne Newton, like, serious, if I wouldn't have seen the video, although he did look kind of girlish. Which is fine. Which it's, is fine, yeah, but... There's nothing against that. But. Yeah, but I'm just saying, but man. Man? Man, he's a man, man. <laughs> so anyway, Vicar and Tutu. Vicar and a Tutu. Vicar and a Tutu. I mean, I'm saying it wrong? Uh, eh. Whatever you want to say it. I don't care. That's just how what? I... What? Man, my man get your vial so, sold dry clean? Yeah. <laughs> That's a lyric in there? Yeah. I thought it was my... Hey, get your soul so bright, great, great, clean. <laughs> get your soul <laughs> so broke, cream? No, know. so bright, clean. I don't know. I never, I never bothered you. You should really get your... Check sometime. <laughs> no. Once you hear something, okay, guys, comment down below that if you've comment ever misheard below. a lyric. Yeah. What did like, you think it said? Okay, you know that song. Comment, comment down below what you think a guitar sounds like. Okay. Speaking of Ferris Bueller, but All right. okay. Um. This is a fun, yeah, it's a fun song, it's funny. It's just about this vicar, vic, vicar running around in his little tutu. But he's, but then he, he preaches a really good sermon, too. Yeah. He's just out there talking about ignorance and stuff. And, and, yeah, uh, and he tells everybody to get their vile soul dry clean. I thought that's what the, the, mon, the, the... Monk. Monk, mon, what no, no, the monk the one is the same. The with a head same. full of plaster. He said, my man, get your vial so dry clean. Just that think of that for a second. The monkish monsignor with a head full of plaster. Yeah, this is the guy that's over him. Yeah, but that's what I'm saying. Think, think of that imagery with a head full of plaster. Like what? <laughs> oh, dance. Yeah, <laughs> like a blockhead. 
Mm-hmm. Kaz, Kaz is looking, saying, no, that can't be it. I... What? He dances again and again? Yeah, that's what I said. The fabric of a tutu? What did you think? And I can get used to I knew I could look these lyrics over. <laughs> what did what did I you thought you said the fabric of a tutu. I don't know. I can get used to Nor. it. <laughs> but, oh, they, but he is correct. Any man could get used to the fabric of a tutu. Oh, yeah. I, I love a too too close to my skin. <laughs> Wait. There's what? that there's that story actually Morrissey talks about uh, uh, a uh, journalist that published a thing where the he the journalist said that he went to Morrissey's door and Morrissey answered the door at two two and he was gonna like sue him and stuff, but he never did. Anyway, so people just make crap up about him, you know? Yeah. I mean, the guy was being sarcastic, but he never really said that he was, you know? Yeah. Anyway. Man, I don't know. Okay, well, here comes, like... One of the best songs. Some ever. people's favorite Smith song of all time, and there's Damn, the re-release. The re-release here. Yeah. Is that Sandy Shaw? Yeah. Okay, so are we ready for this star? Thing? This is a good one, and I'm, as I'm looking up here at the system to get this going. All right. She's never around me either. Right? And it's now the cover is ready. Face you if you play it too long. It's gonna oh, say oh. Warner Brothers Records. You know what? I want them to because then that <laughs> will complete my transformation to Homer's. No, no, Mo Sislak as the uh, the the, cal the the bartender calendar for Duff Beer. He he won the contest to be the 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 poster boy for Duff Beer. Oh yeah, and they put the <laughs> sticker right over his face because he's so ugly. I remember that. Yeah. So yeah, Warner right here. Bam. He won the contest. <laughs> <laughs> and then he pulled the sticker off. There's another yeah, sticker. There's, right there's there. more, more stickers. <laughs> Duff beer. Joe, a beer, a German beer. Ray, the guy who pours the beer. Me, the guy who drinks the beer. Fart, the distance to the beer. So, so let's go have a beer. Lots and lots and lots of beer. Wait. <laughs> Are you just making this up? No, it's lot? from The Simpsons. Oh, it is? Yeah. Huh. How did we let him get away with all of that? <laughs> I know. I thought okay. we would have stopped him, but it was just mesmerizing. It, it's, it's like that car crash that you just can't look away from. I love yeah. that. Me, the guy who drinks the beer. <laughs> Fa, the distance to the beer. So, so let's go have a beer. Anyway, it's for this German beer called Dough. Dough. <laughs> <laughs> We're gonna have to put that down in the of the like things. We'll have to look that up. That's a funny song. Okay, well there we go. All right, getting back to there is a light that never goes out. We haven't even talked about this yet. I know. Oh, goodness. Okay, well. So okay. interesting fact. Yeah. Morrissey did not want to put this song on the Queen Is Dead. Why not? He didn't say. He just said. He. I think he just thought it was too cutesy or something. I don't know. He just didn't feel that it was should be on there. And uh, and he says to his utter shame, or no, to his other. Uh, what is it? That he he's glad he was wrong. That he that it was put on here. You know that Johnny Marr said, Ah, no, look, we're gonna put it on here this is a great song yeah because it became this anthem love song yeah loved one of the probably the most loved smith song i mean i've, I've actually been when i when i was in california years ago but I, we were listening to mexican radio 
Uh -huh. And all of a sudden, there's late that never goes out came on, but it was sang in Spanish. It oh, was so really? cool. Yeah. Okay, so when you said you were listening to Mexican radio, actual, you were listening to a radio station in Mexico, not the Wall of Voodoo song. Mexican radio. I'm on Mexican radio. No, actual like Mexican radio station. Okay. Okay. No, we didn't buy a Mexican radio to listen to. No, no, no. I understand that. That's not what I was saying. I was saying you were listening to Mexican. Like radio. yeah, we're okay. going through stations. I was like, wait, this is that song, and it sounded just as good. Except for it's in just, Spanish. It sounded just as good. Yeah. I mean, it's just such a beautifully written song, like. There's so much feeling to it that even in another language you're kind of like... Okay. You know, there's some great videos on YouTube of... Uh, Mexerci? No, of uh, this... I, I think they're Mexican. Uh, of a Mexican Smith's cover band. But, like, they don't actually know how to pronounce the words in English. And so it sounds just, just kind of, like, off-key and kind of weird. And there's actually some good uh, bands. There's... No, I know. They just... That do covers like there's this band, Mex Mexercy, Mexercy, something like that. It's kind of spelled weird, but they they do, they do really good covers of of Smith and Morrissey songs. I believe it. So anyway, Kaz, what do you like about this song? Um, I like a lot of the I like a lot of the imagery in the lyrics, and a lot of the things that Morrissey says. Like uh, here, can I see that? Yeah. Guys, we have a couple. Where's that book? Uh, that book? Oh no, we forgot our we, Italian uh, uh, Morrissey. We need to do that translating thing. Yeah, <laughs> that was um, awesome. No, well, I got obviously, you have the chorus of you know the double back, double decker bus stuff, but I just also imagine like, uh, you know, it's really late at night and you're about to be dropped off. You're about to be dropped off at your house, at your house, but you're pleading that uh, they just uh, that you can just stay with them because it's not actually your house; it's their house, and you're welcome there no more. Like the parents. Yeah. Yeah. Who hasn't had a fight with their parents and gotten kicked not out of the house or ran or ran away, you know, or whatever? Where it's yeah, you're just like, and that's what parents say. You're gonna be under my roof. You're gonna follow my rules. So it's their roof, not your roof. Yeah. Have I ever said that to you, Kaz? Yes. I have. Yeah. When? Eh, a couple times. Not in anger, though. Probably not in anger. <laughs> it was in love. It. Yeah. It, 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 it's <laughs> always in love. It's never in anger, but it's more like, listen, Kaz, don't be dumb. Yeah, that sounds more like me. All right, but like, because I'm afraid of Kaz. He'll beat me up. That's right. You weren't supposed to talk. <laughs> Whoa. About that. So yeah, this this reminds me of. Oh, go, go ahead. ahead. Do I need to do I need to give one to you too, Mark? Yes. <laughs> You're the number one. Who's the big daddy around here? Who's the number one dad? Oh yeah, can we get that book out here? Um, no, but another another piece of imagery in the lyrics that I really like is uh, I thought or. And in a darkened underpass, I thought, oh god, my chance has come at last, but then a strange fear gripped me and I just couldn't ask, and oh my goodness, that is great, because can't, can't you just imagine that, like, uh, you're driving around and you're so close to telling someone, like, exactly, like, <laughs> how much they mean to you and, like, how you feel, oh. but, you just, but you just can't, like, the words are stuck in, in your throat. So yeah. that's how you. That's interesting because I always thought that he was talking about suicide. Oh. I always thought he's. He was, I don't know. I mean, I. That's the. I always thought it was like he would like. My chances come. I'm gonna. But actually, your way makes more sense. But I always, for some reason, thought of it that he was. You know, got the nerve up to kill himself, and then. All, but then. No, you know. I, actually, your way makes it more sense with well, the song. So the thing is. On that part, uh -huh. I actually agree with Kaz on that, but I think it's it's not necessarily telling somebody how you feel. I think he was leaning in to kiss somebody. Oh, oh yeah. And then it just went away. And the only reason I say that is because, and I'm not going to give her give her name, but it's actually happened to me. I took a, a I took somebody out, and you know her, but I'm not going to tell the name. I took her out after. Um, is it Elise? 
No. <laughs> I said I was going to say your wife. Don't, you don't ask. <laughs> <laughs> no, I know. So no, but I was saying he. Mark, of Mark, not Mark like knows. He's... Mark knows this person, but I, I took her out, and this was like right after I graduated from high school. And I was driving my dad's car, which was like this huge, big ass Oldsmobile. <laughs> I, re- I was just telling Tanya about that on our way over. <laughs> I was like, they had the biggest boat, man. Yeah, it was huge. But anyway, the, the like... front seat was just a like a, a bench seat, and Ooh. so. I went to drop her off at her house, and we were both looking at each other, and it was kind of that awkward stage before you know anything happens. You got to kiss the girl. Exactly, and so and it, it's like midnight. It's midnight, close to midnight, and so I lean over to go kiss her, right? Jeez. And as I lean over, my hand slips on the horn. Ah! And I'm like, oh, damn it! So I'm like, oh. there was that chance. Yep, and the chance just passed me right. Okay, by. this that makes a lot more sense. You know what? Actually, whenever you think about, now that I'm really thinking about this song, you guys have made me reconsider. Is that actually Morrissey's just kind of in the permanent friend zone? Mm-hmm. He keeps going out with this girl. Exactly. And you know, he's he loves being with her. He, you know, he's like, but but then with along with what Kaz is saying, he can't tell her his feelings, or he, he you know, he's never been able to make that move, and so it's like. Well, I love being with you. So if we were to die in a crash, you know that I, you know, that would yeah. be yeah. the way I'd want to go. And that, you guys make it make it a lot more. I can't even speak, but but let, I remember listening to this though sometimes a lot. You know, whenever I'm like, where it just seems like sometimes it's just the best way to go out. You know, yeah, in that young love. But this is I'm even what. Okay, but let's find out what it, what Google Translate says the Italian lyrics are for that. Oh gosh. Okay. <laughs> awesome. Wait. So we want to. Uh, can we get a good graphic up? The <laughs> yeah. Italian Smiths. The the Italian translation per Google Translate. Wait. How do you? How does this? Like, um, just turn on the ca- just camera it. Yep. Camera. This is so funny. I love this. We were doing this. <laughs> this is so cool though. Like, yeah. the technology yeah, is just, just amazing. Just do the chorus. Take me outside yeah. tonight where there are music and people that are young and lives in your machine. <laughs> Lives in your machine. Uh, okay. Why I want to see of the people and I want to see the lights in your machine. <laughs> <laughs> oh, please not let the ha- let to house. Why not is my house is... The they house. <laughs> anyway, oh wait, and not are more the welcome. And if a bus to two plans, their invest die of side to you. <laughs> Here, go over that again. Go over that again. And, what? And if a bus to two plans, their invest die. Their invest die of side to you. <laughs> that way divine of die. And if a lorry from tens tons <laughs> there kills both die to your side, the pleasure and the privilege is mine. Actually that's pretty clear. Yeah. Take me outside tonight. Take me where you seems. It's not important. Or not important. <laughs> anyway. So anyway, that's that's Google Translate. <laughs> All right, let's get that graphic again. You know what? That's the thing. Is that in the original Italian, it's such a beautiful song. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> a little bit of divorce here. <laughs> in the original Google Translate Italian. In the wonderful. original Italian. <laughs> this is the way it was meant to be heard. <laughs> Even though... <laughs> So awesome. this is just one of those, uh, you know. There's there's a lot of elements in here. There's like the the strings going, yep. you know, all the. I mean, just the guitar, the strings, the lyrics. There's everything. Just there it is. yeah, that little. You know, I'll, I'll turn it down a little bit. All right, we'll turn it. Anyway, so. It's just like all these elements combined to make this, like this, like song that people just can't not like. Yeah. Is that too? 
double no. negatives. That's double negative. No, no, no. no it, it's fine. Not like it, it's fine. You know why? Because it is a great song, and a lot of people love this song. Yeah. But like I said, I think no. this is the young love or the young one where the person's in love with another person. But I know it's over for me. It's like the mature love where you need to learn how to that there's more to more to it than just driving around and having fun that you're it takes work which doesn't sound like that much fun but it is marriage between a man and a woman very sacred cast <laughs> okay some girls are bigger than others and god's going to tell us about the song all right <laughs> well <laughs> <laughs> there comes a time in a girl's life where her body starts to dance. Okay. This is an right. interesting. All right, are we no, he's going to tell us about the background of the song. Oh, the background. Yeah. Okay, you ready, Kaz? Yeah. Yeah. Let's do it. That's not me doing anything, by the way. That's just a song. Oh. I like that beginning though, it's like it really gets your attention. Yeah. It's like I can see that you're walking by somebody and you're like, huh. Oh. And you're like, oh. As some girls are bigger than others. Yeah. Yep. Okay, Cass, take it away. Um, is it true? It's very true. Some girls are bigger than others. Mark being the prime example. Uh, Big he, arrow. He is indeed <laughs> bigger than some girls. Um, Welcome to the Queendom! Queendom! <laughs> <laughs> Alright. Um, it's good the table part. Oh, yeah. What the heck? It's all moving out. I have no clue uh, what the lyrics mean. Or. Er, yeah, it's such I, a weird. I, they, I don't they, think they, Morrissey knows either. They, no, but I, I think they're it's, like very blatant and like I know what they mean. I don't know how they came came about or why they're written. I do know a little bit about the uh, the music in this one though. Uh, Johnny Marr and Stephen Street. I think it was actually Stephen Street mainly who put in the uh, fade in and then fade out and then fade back in. And it was kind of like my dad said with uh, the double take thing. Uh, it. I think Stephen Street, I could be wrong on this though, uh, Stephen Street said it's like uh, opening up a door and then being about to close it and then opening it up real fast again because uh, because of what's inside of it. Uh, kind of the double take thing. And I, I think that's a really interesting concept. I don't know how well it works. I think it certainly makes the, the song stand out a little, a little bit more. Oh yeah. Um, but it's very, very nice guitar too. Like yeah. everybody talks about what uh, what good music it is and how like just sort of fun and jangly it is. And I then they tear into Morrissey's lyrics. No, I think I think it's really funny his lyrics because it's just like yeah. it's such an obvious thing that we all discover, you know, whenever uh, growing up. I mean, I, okay, I mean, uh, but. It's it's such an obvious thing, but it's so funny that he actually put it in lyrics, you know? Yeah. I mean, and then I love, you know, some girls are bigger than others. Some girls' mothers are bigger than other girls' mothers. It's just like these childish, like, and actually, actually whenever he does it, he does it live. You want to see what it says? The one where he's like, oh, yeah, that'd be interesting. Yeah, in the live. Okay, in the, in, the, in, the, in, the, in the original Italian. Yeah, in the original Italian. Uh, wait. Oh man, here. Uh, does it? You can't do it. Doesn't know how to this. Do the. So it's switching between uh, Delera of coat of mail of Giacchi of, of and ice of ice for the wait. first line. Okay. So there we go. To that subsidy of unemployment, not 
say that a point important, and I that I have just discovered Ooh, that some like girls are more large of others. <laughs> <laughs> Yes, so the song's actual title name is Some Girls Are, are More Large, large of, of Others. <laughs> it's so true. But I'm just that saying, graphic again. But uh, maybe that's what the double take is, because whenever you realize some girls are bigger than others, you're like... <laughs> <laughs> Let's get your wife in here to get her opinion on that. I'll take a double take or she yeah. <laughs> Um No, it's yeah. just... It's just such an obvious little cute song that's so ridiculous, yeah. and that's probably why he did it. Just because, you know what? He had the lyric, and actually when he does it live, do you have that version? Yeah. It's on, where he, the, he does the things, uh, this thing like, nanny nanny, like, some what? girls and dang it. You gotta hear how he does it, like, kind of like making fun. Like, it's like a nanny nanny boo boo. Is that the live one? Yeah. Oh, wait. I really don't know what you're talking about. You don't? Yeah, this is the live one. But there's this part. Uh, yeah, that opened. This is their very last show. Their last show live. Okay. That's not wrong. Yeah, do you know what I'm talking about? Where he kind of makes it like, man. You'll hear it, because uh, I can't do it. It kind of be. So you're saying Says in a thousand years I'll be more beautiful? Yeah. As a <laughs> yeah. Uh, is that is that proven or is it just because of makeup and yeah, stuff? Yeah, no, no, no. Uh, uh, search. Oh, we don't have a keyboard. You know. I'll, okay. I'll, I'll show you guys okay, I'll, I'll admit, Lucy. Take my word for it. Lucy, the original human that they found in <laughs> Africa, is not a good-looking woman. I would not date her. No, sorry. What if she was slightly bigger than some other girls? Oh, yeah. What are you talking about? <laughs> I like big See, girls and I cannot not. Exactly. No other girls can't do. This is where... Um, this is where big butts came from. Yeah. Boom, 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 boom. boom. <laughs> they were listening to Oh, my them. gosh. And, and they were like... Sir mix a lot. Really, yeah, we really like the Smiths. We're, let's redo this song into our own language. <laughs> let's take the original Italian. <laughs> <laughs> let's just translate it from the original Italian. <laughs> <laughs> that would be funny if somebody nah, it probably wouldn't work but nah. put this these lyrics to the beat of I like big butts <laughs> I like more larger butts <laughs> I like more larger butts <laughs> the original Italian it's so beautiful, it's so, beautiful. <laughs> so anyway 
Yeah, this is an interesting, funny song. It's kind of like Frankly, Mr. Shankly, where it's yeah. like this kind of like, just yeah. like, wow, these are really interesting songs that they I've never heard them yeah. do before. As, as kind of odd as it is, this is probably dismissed like funniest album. Like, and it's supposed, like the whole thing is like about England being in like decay and everything going to crap, but it's so funny. You also have some of his of most songs. personal songs too. Yeah, I guess that's true. Like, I know it's over. Um, there's light never goes out. Just some really touching songs. Yeah. Frank and Mr. Shank is yeah, one of those touching songs. That, that's what I was going to say. Oh, but, give us your money. Oh, you know what? I I'm gonna I'm still standing by my thing I said last week. Cemetery Gates. There is an accordion in it. At the okay. end. Okay. I. Okay. So next time. Okay. So th that that covers the Queen is dead. Yeah. So, so before, before we cover those, let's let's try to cover some of the singles that get on these albums. Well, that's what I'm saying. We might as well just cover these albums. Or these, it's basically it's all the singles. I didn't I didn't know if you guys wanted to do just go into strange ways and then do this. No, or let's do, let's do these. Do the singles. Yeah. Because this is all they're all before strange ways came out. Yeah. Anyway, so basically, there's a few songs on on louder than bombs that aren't on that one. If there might be one or two. The thing about this is basically it's it's all the singles released after Half Full of Hollow. Yep. And the why why louder than bombs is all those singles, plus it's got older singles. Yeah. Older you know, like uh, I mean stuff actually from like William is really nothing, heaven knows a miserable now. So this one's like if you, if you're really tight on money, you know, and you can only get one Smith's album, I would make it half full of <laughs> but if you want a, a bigger breadth look more, at more bang for your buck yeah and a bigger look yeah. at 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 the smith's career this would be the yeah. album i'd go for it's nice and long it's not one of these it's, like it's not one songs, of these right? 36 minute albums throwaway albums oh hey i was gonna use that later actually that was mine oh <laughs> get your own buddy no but i'm just saying like this is you know so we're we want to cover um so is that what we want to do the next one sure so get yourself or s start listening to the singles yeah because they are there's so many good songs like like we said on this one yeah like the boy with thorn on his side it was on the queen is dead but rubber ring and asleep is like i love rubber ring yeah that is such a great song Mm -hmm. And on rank, they started playing that one, and then they went into uh, uh, the Dre's train or something, right? No, no, no. Um, the last song what? of the album. Uh, it's right up there. Oh, mm -hmm. no. We can look at that. Big mouth. No. Um, Wait. Rubbering like, slash. No, that's Rush Home Ruffians. Boy with the Thorn in his side. What she said. That's right. See, listen. I mean, I know we'll cover. Let's this, see. Let's see. Let's see. I don't know. I don't well, think listen. rank really. I think we should talk about rank. Oh yeah. People. Are... I like this the, the guitar like solo kind of <laughs> like so unsounding more, but it's so cool. See Johnny, you sound good rocking it. It's okay. And then here it comes. <laughs> Sometimes of course Morrissey makes the weirdest noises live, like the screeching and stuff. Oh no, that was actually him getting mad at Joyce. Well no, I'm saying, yeah, not leave him! <laughs> you stupid idiot! Why are you eating this beef jerky stick? Yeah. <laughs> okay. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, so we hope you enjoyed our last three episodes. I think um, the very first one so far, I haven't watched this one. Sometimes I'm like, oh, obviously I haven't watched this one because we're making it. Yeah. But the, the first one of this was my favorite so far. Yeah. We had some really good, our, our more recent episodes, I've really enjoyed. 
Yeah. Have you? Yeah, yeah. Kaz doesn't even watch him. Yes, he does. No, he doesn't. Yes, he does. He says yeah. he does. He cries himself to sleep at night watching him. He, yeah, oh, yeah, he's yeah, crying he cries himself to sleep. sleep. <laughs> he cries himself it's to so sleep funny. because he's like, my no. dad is right there, and that's what I'm going to become in 20 years? He's like, that's uh, me? No. Yeah, that's you. <laughs> yeah, 20 Look. years, buddy. <laughs> do, do the mirror thing. <laughs> Kaz. The mirror thing? Oh, yeah. No. Oh! Whoa! Oh my gosh! <laughs> Just put some glasses on and it's you. Okay, anyway guys, so uh, we appreciate you watching and bearing with us. Yep, and we're not done. We're not done, so... What do you mean the we're not done? Hooligans. No, no, we're not done with the, the entire, you know, Smiths cast. Oh no, 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 they have still have more albums. Yeah. Can, can we get the James Bond thing, like, the handsome hooligans will return in. Strange ways, here we come, or... Ooh. <laughs> no, the world won't listen. Oh. And no, I'm not doing that's James Bond. That's actually a better James Bond. Uh, actually, title. you know what? That's, Mark, that's what we did for my uh, wedding reception. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, I remember I, we had the James Bond tuxedos. It was awesome. We had you two had different things. All the guys did James Bond and my wife. 20s. She went off and did the 20s. <laughs> I, 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 don't, I don't think she's the one that went off. I think maybe it was the other way around. Yeah, but they don't really make old-timey tuxedos. Yeah. No, you should have the spats. It's up. Huh? 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 That was me at prom, actually. Uh, I had spats and gloves. Tails, a cane, and cha cha cha. It was kind of embarrassing now that I look back at it. Why? Because it did. At the time, I thought it was cool, but then now that I look at it, I'm like, I would have rather have just this really cool looking tuxedo. Well, yeah. I wanted, no, I didn't go to prom. I never did. I never yeah. wanted to, so. Yeah. I never wanted to, so that. That's well, yeah, why would you want to spend the money? Yeah, prom was expensive and it was stupid. It's like, I'll just take a girl out. Well, you had to spend like 90 bucks just to go to the Yeah, just to get tickets that, to go in. Yeah. No, I mean, they're, they fed you and stuff, but it was like, I could go to a really nice restaurant yeah. for this much money. Yeah. Anyway, enough about prom. And then, yeah. you know, you, you go to prom and then another man, he takes her hand, a smile lights up her stupid face. It happens. It, what that happened at my prom. No. It's probably because you were you were in spats. <laughs> I would do that. <laughs> she did uh, she was watching, right? <laughs> oh, uh, uh, you, you, you got the top hat. Hello, my baby. Hello. My baby. Yeah. <laughs> the frog. Hello, my baby. Hello, my darling. Okay, we gotta we gotta close okay. this out. Okay. Well, let's close it out with rubber ring. I was gonna close it out with some girls. Okay. You know, just near the very end. Yeah. Okay. So, all right. Till next time, we are the, the handsome, handsome hooligans right. with this charming, charming Smith cast. cast. Okay. Um, Mark. Kaz. Steven. Yeah. Thank you. All right, and we are going to close it out with some girls. Can you turn it up a little bit? Because it's so loud. <laughs> you know what my favorite part is? Nothing, because I hate you guys. I can go to sword! I'm so glad this is over. I want out of this. <laughs> I, I write my own index card. <laughs> Here's my index card.